Denise Gwen, reading aloud for you for my novella, Goddess, Chapter 52. Mary leaped down from her pedestal and landed as gracefully as a dancer upon the pavement. She walked toward Lady Venus and Victoria with a radiant smile. Maddie grew suddenly shy and sidled behind Lady Venus, confused and a little frightened. Maddie didn't quite understand why she suddenly felt so awkward and shy, for Lady Venus towered protectively over her, and Victoria was monstrously tall and wielded a massive sword besides, but she supposed it had something to do with how easy she felt around them now that she'd spent a good portion of the night with them. Why she felt intimidated by a statue from her own adopted hometown did surprise her. Not a little, though. And Mary was even the same size as Maddie. But perhaps it had everything to do with Mary's size. Mary stood at nearly Maddie's height of five feet five inches, and was delicate and small. Why did Maddie feel shyer around Maddie than around the other two Valkyries? Did it signify that she saw Mary more often than the other statues? That Mary meant so much to her now, ever since she moved to Cincinnati and called it her home? She didn't know the reason for her shyness. She only knew that it was there. Lady Venus turned and cast a fond gaze at Maddie. Don't worry, little one. I've not forgotten you. In fact, in fact, Victoria said, you're the most important element of our journey this evening. I am? Maddie squawked. Yes, you are, Victoria said. Oh, a thread of unease tickled Maddie's spine. Now that it appeared they'd finished collecting the last statue, Maddie was really starting to fret over what was expected of her for this evening. She was growing increasingly uneasy at the mission that Lady Venus had called her to attend upon, and she kept trying to pretend to herself that she was merely coming along to bear witness to the marvelous thing the statues planned to do this evening. And now they were revealing that they needed her to perform a task that only she could perform? What on earth could she do that a statue couldn't? At first, she'd believed that all she need do is be present. What on earth could she possibly do that magical statues couldn't? A thread of uneasiness prickled her. Oh, yes, Lady Venus said. Why, you're the most important element. She gazed at Maddie with a look of love. And despite her reservations, Maddie beamed. Never before in her life had she felt so needed. And yet, a tiny voice inside her cast doubt. What exactly do three statues need you to do that they can't do for themselves, hmm? Are we talking a human sacrifice? A frisson of fear trickled down her spine. Maddie gazed worriedly from Lady Venus's beaming features to Victoria's tranquil smile and then to Mary's kindness, and she felt no solace. What exactly did they have in mind?